So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us this afternoon in the CESDA Roadshow series, the first of them. Um, while we give everyone the time to, uh, to start joining, uh, I'll just go over a few of the household rules um, to know that you've entered in listen-only mode. Um, but you're welcome to unmute yourself uh, when we are having the Q&A with uh, the speakers in the dedicated uh, discussion uh, sessions. Um, also, the slides and recordings will be made available after the Roadshow series via sesda.eu. So, Steph, I think we're giving everyone some time to join uh, and then we, we can start. Yes, Marika, yeah, we can see people coming in. Yeah. So, um, we can start, I think, with our introductions and it's our pleasure this afternoon to welcome uh, our first present, uh, presenter of the afternoon, Ali Bloom, who is a research associate at the um, UK Data Centre at, at the University of Manchester. She'll be telling us in the first part um, how to discover COVID data on the CESDA data catalogue. So the floor is yours, Ali, thank you. Thanks, so thank you very much. Sorry, Ali. So first, uh, maybe let me explain a little bit about the Roadshow series and then, and then we, we quickly move to you uh, so that everyone on the call knows uh, what the series is about. Um, let me try and shift my screen. So, um, so my name is Monique Williams from Trust IT. You already met my colleague Steph, uh, Stephanie Parker, uh, together with uh, the CESDA um, members, so the Consortium of Social Science data archives and the head office, uh, we are bringing this roadshow series to you. Um, and today we start with, uh, with obviously with the COVID-19. But as you already have seen in the announcements, uh, so in a world beset by challenges from the COVID-19 pandemic to climate change, the social sciences have never been more important uh, for impartial evidence-based and research and analysis. Um, so the series of roadshows will focus on five challenges five global challenges uh, that CESDA uh, with its data catalog and its uh, data management expert guide contributes to and helps researchers uh, in their research on uh, to tackle these global challenges. So today here you can see our wonderful uh, team of speakers. The agenda of today, uh, we're uh, really aiming um, to, uh, to provide you with a lot of insights. Uh, so designed as a practical deep dive is this session uh, where we bring together the service providers, as you can see in the agenda, uh, and researchers uh, on how to use and reuse the reservoir of COVID-19 resources in CESA. Um, so here you see, uh, we, have the, um, we have divided the session in two parts. The first part will focus on the data catalog where we have Ali Blue who will provide you with, uh, with a, a practical insights of how to find COVID data and what data uh, is available and a practical demo. Then we go to our researchers, Julia Partemeller, uh, Anna Zemberlein, Filippo Giocchin, uh, and Davide Gritti. Uh, they have performed a really interesting researches with COVID-19 data. And then we have, a five, uh, we have a very short interactive panel discussion. You then have five minutes for a virtual refreshment break we then move on to Ricarda Braugman from DANS, one of the CESDA members, one of the CESDA service providers, who will take us through the data management expert guide on data discovery, archiving, and publication routes, uh, followed by uh, insights onto how CESDA DMX supports the publications in the social sciences. And then all our uh, speakers are invited uh, to uh, the discussion. So just to give you a brief insight into CESA data catalog, this, the two topics of the, the, the roadshow, so the data catalog for researchers to discover uh, the, the really treasures uh, of data sets in this catalog with over 30,000 data sets already. Uh, to give you a small insight in September 2021, the CESA data catalog already counted with 284 data sets on COVID-19. And then we invite you to listen to this wonderful uh, podcast. And this is a data management expert guide. Is the second part of the of the of this session today, um, where you can uh, learn more about how to manage the data that you're collecting in the social sciences. We just wanted to give you a brief overview of who 
who you are in uh, online, also for our speakers to know who they're, they're speaking with. Uh, so most of you are involved in education. Um, most of you haven't used the CESA data catalog before. So Ali, that I think is a very interesting point for you to, uh, to see. Um, and then uh, a lot of you on the call have already uh, met uh, the data management expert guide. So uh, Ricardo, I think that's also a very interesting point for you to take uh, with you.